my important papers. You mean the racing poem? Yes. Oh, I don't play the horses. I just read. Well, I'm glad it was a mistake. Oh, gosh, will you get Daddy on the phone? I want him to call off the police. Oh, I'm certainly glad you didn't run into Sock. He was kind of upset. You've been very neighborly. I'm going to send you a Christmas card. <laughs> and please give that dear boy a kiss for me. Hello? Oh, that'll be a pleasure. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Daddy? Daddy, listen, call off the manhunt. The money is here. No, it was all a mistake. Fine. It's all a mistake. Mandy, you keep your eye on that money, understand? I'm holding you responsible. I better call my men off. Let you and I go out and take charge of that money personally. Gosh, isn't it funny how you can misjudge people sometimes? Mm. <laughs> Imagine that sweet old lady stealing anything. <laughs> I wish Sock would get here. I can't wait to tell him I got the money back. Be a lot better for you if he'd gotten it back. Hmm? Well, in that way, Sock would have accomplished something. As it is, you've done it for him again. Sock resents dominating females. They make him feel insecure. Is that the effect I had on him? Well, he's a man, isn't he? He wants to be the strong one, but you scare him away with your efficiency. Maybe I'd make some more progress if... I played the helpless type. Well, you could try it once for size. I've tried everything else. <laughs> Gus? Yeah? Gus, have you got a clothesline? Yeah. But look, this is no time to hang yourself. Gus, just go get that clothesline and don't ask questions. I'll explain on the way. Oh, Mandy people, here we go again. <laughs> what you're doing. If Sock ever finds out you're kidding him, he'll never forgive you. Oh, when Sock finds me here in the woods, I'll be so weak and helpless why he'll never even guess. And then I'll promise him that I'll do everything his way from now on. This is your life, Mandy people, and you can have it. Oh, my big, brave darling. Oh, thank heavens you've come. Ouch. Not too tight. And then when he gets here, I'll tell him that I felt so guilty when the crooks ran off with the money that I went after him. And then when I found him in the woods here, the old lady pulled a gun on him. She was really a very vicious killer. And then her accomplice, who's a, a big brute, bound and gagged me. And then when they heard him coming, they dropped the money and ran. Gus, put that handkerchief around my mouth good and tight so I can't shout. This party's gonna enjoy it. Gus, huh? don't forget to take the shoe. What? Well, that's how you'll know I met with foul play. Oh. Mm. Gus, don't forget to put the knitting bag over there so Sock will find it. Okay. Oh, honey, this is gonna be great. You're gonna be a sight to make the strongest man break down and weep. A woman who can't talk. What's that? All right. He's down. Down you go. Ah, there we are. Mm. Mm. It's not that I like her. But her makeup is tasty. <laughs> oh, Sock. Thank heavens you've come. No, that's Mandy's line. Oh, Sock. Something terrible must have happened to Mandy. Here's her shoe. Once it held her dear little foot. This is acting? What's wrong? Oh, Sock, thank heavens you've come. Something must have happened to Mandy. Here's her shoe. To Mandy? 
What's wrong? What's wrong? Well, she went after the cooks and stole the money, and I found her shoe on the path in the woods. Oh, no. No, no, no. We may never see her again. Her dear little shoe. Once it held her dear little foot. Her little shoe. I remember the night I drank champagne from her little shoe. It held a full quart. <laughs> the shoe. It's a clue. It's a clue. Cleo will lead me to her. Cleo, get the scent. Get the scent and go find Mandy, Cleo. Mush! Mush! If I've got a mush, I want some snow. <laughs> Find her. She's liable to be lying around here, unconscious, even helpless. Come on, Cleo. Excuse me, I've got to go. <laughs> Spread out. You go that way, and I'll go this way, and we'll cut them off at the gulch. <laughs> What's that? Who's there? Uh, don't move. I got you covered. Oh, it's the old lady's bodyguard, Melvin, the meat grinder. Uh, yeah. And they put dogs on leashes. Don't you, Melvin? I haven't got the money. Mrs. Raymond's got it. Duh, no, she ain't. She ran away after we took care of that dopey thing. Oh, you must mean Mandy. Uh, uh, yeah. She talks your head off. Oh, you noticed that, too? Uh, uh, you give me the money, and I'll tell you where you can find her. $3,000 just to find her? I wouldn't pay over ten. Uh, you give me the money now, or I'll blast you. But I haven't got the money, Melvin. That sock. Uh, you hadn't all a lie to me. I'm gonna let you have it, Jim. Well, he's in trouble. Come on. I'm not afraid of you, Melvin. I eat your kind for breakfast. Uh, say your prayers, sucker. I'm coming at you, Melvin. Gun or no gun. Take that! And that! Well, he must be off his rocker. <laughs> Timber. Take it easy, Sock. Everything's gonna be all right. We're your friends. We'll see that you get a good doctor. Mayor people. He doesn't get violent again. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I was only doing this to tease Mandy. Wait a minute. Look, there's the money. Mandy hid it so I'd find it. But I knew she hid it so I'd find it, so I wouldn't think she found it. Who? Mandy. Mandy? Yeah, she's right back there in the bushes. Uh, brace yourself, boy. I just talked to Mandy on the telephone. Well, then she's got a phone in the bushes. She tied herself up. She's worse off than I thought he was. We better take him downtown. Uh, come along now, Miller, and don't give us any trouble. Uh... Mandy was here. You squashed her. She was just here. Mandy, Mandy, they squashed you. Oh, poor Mandy, baby, man, man, man. 
You weren't just here? I haven't been anywhere near here today. You, you, you were right here with a rope. You were tied here. And, and you were bound a gag around. I'll go quietly. <laughs>